We are in section 3.5, which covers the language of algebra. In algebra, you use mathematical symbols to indicate various operations. It is really, really necessary that you have to translate these English phrases, phrases into mathematical form. This is important when you have to start solving word problems. There are certain key phrases that often appear in written word problems, such as sum, difference, quotient, etc. You will need to understand the meaning of all these phrases and be able to write them using mathematical symbols. For example, decreased by means made smaller, so decreased by would mean subtraction. Similarly, increased by means greater by, therefore increased by means addition. So make note that the words such as sum, added by, increased by, altogether, more than, all of these represent addition. Subtraction could be difference, decreased by, less than, minus. All of those represent subtraction. And then multiplication would be product, times, multiplied by, etc. So keep in mind that whenever you see a phrase, you have to know what it means. If you don't, you got to review that and study that and make sure you understand what it means when you take more than something or less than something. All right, so let's start with three basic concepts. Here are three very basic expressions. The first one is 9 decreased by 2. We're not solving these at all. We're not simplifying them. I don't want an answer. All I want you to do is represent these sentences as mathematical expressions. So 9 decreased by 2, what would that be? It would be 9 minus 2. 7 increased by 6 would be 7 plus 6. 5 decreased by x. 5 minus x. Another example. 6 increased by 3 times a number. 6 increased by 3 times a number. So we'd write 6 increased by is add, three times a number. Now here's the deal, we don't know what that number is. That number could be anything. So therefore, the number is going to be your x. So six increased by three times a number is just six plus three x. Next example, seven decreased by five times a number. Seven decreased by five times a number. What would you write? Seven decreased by five times a number. And once again, you could have seven minus five y, seven minus five w. When it says a number, you can plug in any variable that you would like. Less than. This is the phrase that students constantly get wrong. Less than. For example, six less than 13. If someone has $13 and you have $6 less than them, how much money do you have? You would have $7. But you would not write that as 6 minus 13. That is not correct. 6 less than 13 means you are subtracting 6 from 13. So your expression would be 13 minus 6. The 13 comes first. So 6 less than 13 can only be written as 13 minus 6. 8 more than 3. 8 more than 3 means you are adding 8 to 3. So it would be 3 plus 8. However, because we have the cumulative property of addition, this can also equal 8 plus 3. 8 more than 3 can be written as 8 plus 3 or 3 plus 8. Over here, back to our original problem, you cannot do 6 minus 13. That is not the same thing. So let's try a few examples using less than. 5 less than twice a number. 5 less than twice a number. Twice a number means you are taking two times some number. Five less than that would be subtracting five. The less than switches the order. If you see the words less than, you must flip the order. If you see the words less than, the phrase less than, you must flip the order. 
how would you write the expression x less than a? x less than a. That would be a minus x. Write down these three examples. 4 more than 3 times y. 6 less than 5 times a. w increased by 4 times y. Number 1. 4 more than 3 times y. How would you write that? More than means add. So we could say 4 more than 3 times y. And there's your answer. You could also have 3y plus 4. Number 2. 6 less than 5 times a. There's our phrase less than. That obviously means subtraction. But we have to flip the order. So how would you write first 5 times a? 5 times a would be 5a. 6 less than that would be 5a minus 6. You cannot have 6 minus 5a. Number 3, w increased by 4 times y. w increased by 4 times y. And there's your answer. Here are the last three examples that I would like you to write down. Number 4, 7 less than x increased by 15. Number 5, 7 more than twice a number increased by 3. 6, a times b increased by c. Let's start with number 4. 7 less than x increased by 15. So how would you write 7 less than x? Yep, x minus 7 increased by 15. Plus 15. There's your answer. Number 5. 7 more than twice a number increased by 3. How would you write 7 more than twice a number? 7 plus 2x, or you could write it as 2x plus 7, and then increased by 3, you add 3. So either one of these answers would be correct. The last one, number 6, a times b increased by c. a times b, ab, increased by c, plus c, and that's it. Just remember, you know what phrases mean. Increased by, less than, decreased by. The number one thing I want you to take out of this is less than. If you see the phrase less than, you're going to flip the order with subtraction. So keep that in mind.